This tea is already fogging up my glasses. Oh, it's so freaking cold. Okay, so we got that going. My controller is actually working again. What's up, Hive? What's up, Asian? What's up, PR? What's up, Retsu? <laughs> I see that you donated bits 10 minutes ago, Retsu. Hmm. What's up, Reg? How's your week been? It's been pretty crazy, truly, but it's not something that I can't get over, you know? But preemptively, this week of streams, or these next, like, four days, they're probably gonna be pretty short streams. I got a lot of stuff going on, but we'll make do with what we got, you know? What's up, Killer? What's up, Zesty? What's up, Asian? What's up, Luke? How are you guys doing? How's your week been? DX, thank you so much for the host. I really appreciate you. Thank you, thank you. And Luke, thank you so much for the host. I really appreciate you. Kurgami, how are you? What's up? How are you doing? Stream as long as you like. We're happy to hang. Yeah, it'll probably be a pretty short stream week. I mean, I'll stream all these next four days. They're just going to be shorter. It's probably going to be like that. I feel like you know, the ending of January into February. I just have so much stuff going on, especially with this funeral and stuff like that and making the arrangements. So it's gonna be a little wishy-washy, but hopefully, hopefully we'll get everything under control um, recently. <laughs> Jesus, DX, was that an accident? <laughs> My goodness. I don't feel like I've ever seen you talk that way. <laughs> oh my God. My goodness. PR, take as much time or as little time. We just love hanging out regardless. Thank you. I appreciate it. I've been having one interesting start to 2020. I can tell you what, but. Milad, what's up? How are you doing? Long time no see, how are you? Toph, what's up? How are you doing? I also just realized I forgot to post this on Instagram. I'll do that tomorrow. Hugo, how are you doing? How's your week been? Hey everyone. <laughs> How's it going? Cthulhu, thank you so much for being a sub for eight months. I really, really appreciate you. Thank you, thank you. Seb, how are you doing? Drizzle, how are you? Martin, how are you doing? Kron, how are you? Hellrider, how's your week been? What's up gaming? What's up indie? <laughs> DS. That caught me off guard so much. I was like, he never talks like that. My God, what happened? Neo, how are you doing? How's your week been? Don't worry about it, DX. I knew it was an accident. Don't worry. <laughs> my, my. Toph, what world am I on? I think we ended uh, in Neverland, and I just need to defeat Hook, I believe. What's up, Bird Diggity? How are you doing? How's your week been? And Mentor Tom, welcome to the stream. We're so happy to have you here. My day is going well been quite the quite the day and quite the week but I'm excited to play more Kingdom Hearts I just hope I have my snap to me you know I'm just like in a constant state of exhaustion <laughs> which is also kind of not out of the norm but Pecan thank you so much for the follow I really appreciate you what's up William what's up Bruce what's up Rascal what's up FBI how are you guys doing yes Toph my controller did die last time I don't know what happened because like since then I haven't had any issue every time I tried to like reconnect my controller but for whatever reason it just died that stream I don't know the universe was like we're not about that today what's up Aristeller how are you doing graphics how are you how have you been the song I know all the feels uh I guess we'll get back into it however I don't know if I remember how to get back to Hook. We'll have to see. Let's see. Is your fault, PR? When in doubt, always blame PR. Always blame PR. Hi, B. Can I nickname you Amore? Because every time I see you, I want Amore Ayu Antisira love. That's so cute, girl. Thank you for the bits. That's adorable. <laughs> so cute. So cute. Okay. It was literally gonna be impossible for me to beat Hook without the controller, so. See if I can remember how to get back. Aristelle, are you busy? I'm appreciative that you, did I just go back? I'm appreciative that you stopped by to say hello. 
It's crazy how like there's not even many places to go here and yet still I can never seem to find my way around. Power, welcome to the stream. We're so happy to have you here. How are you doing? Yeah, I wouldn't be surprised if the stream is probably only like an hour. It's probably gonna be like that for the next four days. Probably. We shall see, we shall see. What's up, LG? How are you doing? How's your day been? What's up, Vanguard? The major throwbacks, right? All the feels. All the feels. All right, I believe we can beat Hook this time. As long as I have the controller, we're good. Oh, I can fly here too. I feel like last week I was so mentally out of it, like nothing was registering to me. I'll have to see if I'm more on my A game today. I might be like B game. Maybe not fully A game. We'll see. Send. An awesome gift will be delivered Friday. I'm going to Cree though if you have this item already not like this. Sin, literally everything you send is so cool. I don't even understand where you get the stuff that you get. It's crazy. You're always so thoughtful, Sin. I can't wait to see what it is. I'm so excited. And even if I have it, it'll still be, it'll still mean more to me that you sent it instead of like me just getting it, you know? Three, thank you so much for the host. I really appreciate you. Thank you, thank you. What's up, Superman? How are you doing? Okay. Now, I didn't prepare myself with any items. We should be able to make it work. There's still an enemy somewhere. I just don't know where. Renner, what's up? Thank you so much for the gifted sub. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Thank you, thank you, thank you. DX, how are you feeling? I mean, I just feel like I'm exhausted. You know, like sometimes things happen like so quickly. You don't really have time to kind of like let your mind understand what exactly is happening, I guess in a sense. I feel like I've been constantly rushed. And then I had a huge exam on Monday, but I'm not bad by any means. Just super freaking busy. Pack, thank you so much for the gifted sub. Thank you, thank you, thank you, Pack. Thank you so, so, so much. Excuse me. Thank you, thank Did you, thank you. you. Graphics, thank you so much for being a sub for 13 months. I really, really appreciate you. Thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you. Graphics, thank you, thank you. We'll watch this, even though I'm talking through it again. Why not? Now it's your turn to walk the plank. Tom, the exam was in French. I've taken French for many, many years now. Um, but that one in particular was a French exam. Which is quite the pain in the butt, but I enjoy the subject anyways. If anything, it's more of like fluidity Hi, and like being going? able to express Today yourself. Today is my birthday, better. so you're gonna be hooked without a doubt in my mind. Eric, happy birthday! Happy birthday! That is awesome! You gonna get your favorite food today? What were your plans for your birthday? Obviously besides being here, because there's no better way to spend your birthday than hanging out and stream. I like how he has kind of like a mix of a saber and a rapier, if you notice. Very interesting. And he attacks like he has a rapier. But the hilt is more of a saber. How many languages do you speak? And kind of speak? And kind of speak? Uh, Spanish, English, and French. So I grew up speaking English and Spanish, and then I've taken French since elementary school. And even throughout my bajillion years in college, I still continue to take French courses. So those are the languages. Come on now. Oh, see, if I remember correctly, too, he's gonna start throwing, like, presents. I can't control myself. Yeah, my Being a 
pain in the butt is like every pain in the butt. It hurts in the beginning, but eventually you start enjoying it. Come on. Come on. Come on. Thank you for the vents. Thank you, thank you. <laughs> My goodness. <laughs> I gotta fight him. I gotta win. Not the person I want to lock on to. Not get me on the hand. Come on now. Come on. This might be a good time to attack him. Jesus. Okay, yeah, so now he's starting to throw his presents. We can't get cocky, as my dad would say. <laughs> Don't get cocky. Alright. Come on. Actually, did. That's not what I want. I was unprepared here. Use all of my freaking potions. So why not? I thought that was that a mega ether that I used. I would have thought that would have filled everything. Insanity, what's up? We're so close. <laughs> Good news, everyone. B is alive. I am alive. <laughs> just barely, just barely. But I'm alive. How are you doing, Insanity? You're all moved back? My tea is so warm. We did it. First try back. Very nice. Chris, feeling better? I mean, I don't know. I, I feel like I haven't really fully had time to feel better, I guess. In a sense. In I don't know, but I'm not mind, doing the bad. transition for means. dub is pronounced B. <laughs> Girl, thank you so much for the bits. Thank you, thank you. Oh, Kyrie couldn't wake up, so maybe she's really lost her... OMG, it's my favorite healthcare worker playing my nostalgic games. I still... What's up, M2? Oh, really feels... Blue. Wait till I tell Kyrie. <gasps> Look, I'm waiting I'm to go Sora. to work. But oh even God. better, I could be getting my car back this weekend. You can bring her to Neverland, so That's awesome, Insanity! Yeah, I'm so happy yourself. to hear that! If you believe, you Don't can mind Kimchi, she's right? killing the moment here. I'll find Kyrie. I know I will. I love that, like, she's childish so optimism. About flying, <laughs> the pirates, I can do anything if I believe hard enough. B, I had beef stew What's today, and I didn't really make plans, I just planned on being here you today and playing there. PlayStation. That's awesome, Eric. I'm happy to hear it. There's no better place to be on your birthday than here. That is awesome. DX. Oh, you're using a laptop instead of your phone today? I see, I see. My kimchi. I don't remember this part at all. Find your sword, just don't give up. This is where the hidden boss is, though, I think. My I ex think I told to... me I'm like Little Caesars because my bread is good, but my meat is low quality. I replied you're like Little Caesars because you're hot and ready for $5. Emotional damage. Emotional Tears of damage. joy. <laughs> Apex, thank you so much for the bits. Thank you, thank you, thank you. I really appreciate you. <laughs> okay. I know... There's a boss here, but I don't know how to do it. So I have to come back to it. You smack the clock tower, I believe. I also can't remember what time it's supposed to be. Wait, so did I seal the keyhole? Did I beat this world? Was I just not paying attention? I feel like this happens every time. And I remember, like, in childhood, every, like, sealing every world was such an amazing, like, moment for me. I feel kind of bad that I'm just... Maybe not fully focused? But yeah, there's supposed to be a secret boss at the clock tower. I believe. Unless that's Kingdom Hearts 2? No. Maybe? I have no idea. I still need to seal the keyhole. What did Tinkerbell say? I wasn't paying attention. 
was <laughs> paying attention to You need more caffeine. Always pack. Literally always. Thanks to Big Ben, you can tell the time from anywhere in London. Every world what would the be is an amazing moment for me too. PR, that's so cute. My goodness. DX with the arrangement slowly coming along. Everything is in order now. I actually finished everything basically today, like before stream. Oh wait, so... Oh, are there some I can fix and some I can't? Hmm, let's see. Okay. So... You know my favorite world is this match. one, because this world had B in it. Insanity! That's so cute! It's adorable! Strangers of Paradise, Luke. I don't even know if I know what game that is. Man, that was a weird way to string together a sentence, huh? You guys understand what I meant, right? My god. There we go. There we go. I knew there was something to do with the clock. Any family drama or is everyone in line? There's always family drama pack. Literally always. I mean, I'd say that everybody is like, okay. It's just been an interesting time. I wish I could elaborate more on that, but it's been very, there have been bad things that have come of it. There have been good things that have come of it. So. How was dinner yesterday? Oh, girl, thank you for the bits. It was good. Uh, so basically, like, my mom calls me, and she's like, hey, so we're going to dinner. And I was like, okay, that's fine. And so anyways, we went to go get Thai food, because obviously, like, I love Thai food. And it was hilarious, because, like, I was so hungry, because I hadn't eaten at all that day. And so I was like, I'm going to get these spring rolls, right, as, like, an appetizer. Let me watch this real quick, so I don't kill the mood. What's up, Ravens? How are you doing? We grow up. Let's get off this island. They're so cute. They're adorable. We'll go on real adventures, not this kid stuff. These grandiose ideas. Sure. You know the new girl at the mayor's house? She arrived on the night of the meteor shower. Look at little Riku. He's adorable. My goodness. So cute. So adorable. My goodness. Was there I don't think there is. It was I think it's just like a plane door. Without at least using a vessel. Get a Mariku. Relying to be so question if I were to go to Houston, is there any places you recommend me go see? I will answer that right after this cutscene. A castaway. I had beef pad thai today from my former Those favorite place. Pets. It was not what remembered sad face. When we took the princess from his castle, he apparently followed her here through sheer force of will. That is so but cute! No harm. That was so adorable. Haggis, welcome to the stream. We're so happy to have you here. How are you doing? Our power? Yeah. The untapped power that lies within. So freaking cute. Child, it's time you awakened that power and realized your full potential. <laughs> this is when the chaos happens. <laughs> My god. Ooh, she kind of tripped for a second. Did you see that? It's like her foot didn't go out in front of her. But we can see each other anytime. As long as you don't forget about Neverland, that is. She's like, <laughs> grow up, Peter Pan. Poor Tinkerbell, so jealous. Oh boy, she's getting steamed again. <laughs> Do me a favor. Jealous, Tinkerbell. Look her for me, will ya? Dang. I got Tinkerbell. Beautiful. Obtain the fairy heart. 
I got Glide! Yes! Oh my god. Okay, so answer your questions. Insanity, if you were to go to Houston, are there any places that you recommend me see? Um, there are some interesting things in Houston. I don't really feel like Houston is ever really like a tourist attraction type place. I think there's very good food. Like of all the travels that I've been on my life, I feel like Houston has the best food. So there's definitely some like restaurants and stuff that I'll recommend to you. Uh, PR, I had some beef pad thai, it's my favorite, former favorite place. That's not what I remember. Don't you hate that? Like when you love something so much and it's just not up to par. Uh, but back to my story with my mom. So um, my mom and I have not always been kind of like on the best terms and I'm not gonna fully go into that. However, she's been making more of an effort to kind of, I don't wanna say get back into my good graces cause it's not that she's out of my good graces. It's just, she has some things that she's decided that she wants to work on. So anyway, she's like, yesterday she calls me and she's like, hey, I'm on your side of town or whatever. Like, let's go to dinner. I was like, sure. So you go to this Thai place. This used to be one of my favorite Thai places as well. Of course, like the dish that I got kind of like wasn't up to par. Anyways, so I was so hungry. And so for an appetizer, I was like, I'm gonna get these like, they're like these veggie spring rolls and stuff like that. So, you know, usually there's like egg rolls, which are kind of like the smaller like fried ones. And then there's the spring rolls that are made with like rice paper and they're quite a bit bigger. <laughs> so anyways, we're sitting there and I think that it's just gonna be like a normal dinner or whatever, or how, as it usually is. Uh, so anyways, like my spring rolls come out and they're freaking huge. Like abnormally, they were like freaking burritos. It was crazy. I've never, I don't know if there was like a new person making the spring rolls or whatever, but they were freaking massive, like laughably so, almost like, I don't know, like, you know how, like, you can have some places that'll have, what are they called? Like, what is it? Challenge? A challenge? You know how, like, whenever they create, the, like, massive things or whatever, and it's like, if you can eat all this, like, your meal's free. It was like one of those things. Aurelio, no, I didn't stop with TikTok. I've had a lot of crazy stuff happen recently, but I am getting back to TikTok. I have not left TikTok. Uh, so anyways, uh, I'm sitting here with my mom, and... These spring rolls come out and I'm like, oh my God, this is ridiculous, right? Like, this is so absurd. They were so big. It was so absurd. And so anyways, I was so hungry and I feel so bad. Like I was focused on like the appetizer, right? Cause I was starving. So I'm like in a fight with a spring roll, which is freaking huge. Like it's like a freaking burrito. And I'm just making like a mess. Cause I'm like, this thing is huge. <laughs> I'm laughing, like, trying to eat this spring roll. I'm clearly in a fight with this thing, right? And so anyways, I kind of focus more so, like, on what my mom is saying. And she's, like, having a serious heart-to-heart -heart conversation with me, which is something that we don't usually have. And I wasn't anticipating it. So I'm like, here we are. I'm trying... <laughs> to eat this ungodly massive spring roll, making a freaking mess. It was hilarious. And I'm trying to eat it. I have like half the spring roll in my mouth and I'm like, oh, you're, we're trying to have a moment here. <laughs> Meanwhile, I'm in a fight with the spring roll and I'm like, I am, I just killed the moment. Like, it's kind of hard to take me seriously <laughs> at the moment. So anyways, um, we had a good dinner and then that dinner ended up turning into her coming over today. Her and my dad, uh, he's my stepdad, came over for a coffee, like right before stream and stuff like that. And I was like, I felt kind of bad. Cause like, I wasn't expecting having like a heart to heart conversation with her. And then like that ended up happening. I felt like I completely ruined the moment. Cause I was like so fixated on my spring rolls that I was like, this is kind of, this is kind of unfortunate. Uh, so anyways, I was like, I need to kind of make things better. Not that it was bad, but it like clearly wasn't the moment she was hoping for. So I was like, let me fully focus on you, you know, and fully focus on what you have to say today. And let me <laughs> not be attempting to fit a spring roll in my mouth as awkward I told as them possible. You don't enough. My fault again, B, ruined the moment. <laughs> PR, thank you for the bits. Thank you, Can thank you. Can you reenact you with half the spring roll in your mouth? Poke, 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 poke. <laughs> Hi, oh my God. I knew too, I was like, there's no way. There's no way I'm gonna be able to eat this nicely. B, 
Ema need you to send me that list. I'm trying to plan a four-day vacation to Houston. When are you coming to Houston, Insanity? Okay, no. Wait. It's a Final first. Fantasy Origin game, B. I'll definitely add it to the list of things I'm getting for your birthday package. Huh. Is it actually a Final Fantasy game? Or is it one of those things like Outriders, which is like a Square Enix game, but it was like nothing like a Square Enix game. You know what I mean? Is it one of those? Or is it actually like a Final Fantasy game? Out of curiosity. Okay, let's equip Glide. We must have Glide. I need this. After combo. Like Sometime like in that. February. Don't have a date just yet because I need to set it on my days off. I see. How far is the drive to Houston? Okay, so now... Hmm. We're gonna need to get Glide. Equip that. And then let's look at our new Keyblade. Five and a half hours. That's quite the freaking drive insanity, my gosh. <laughs> That's crazy. I, I have to go out of town actually pretty soon. And it's gonna be a, quite the freaking drive. Super Glide? Is there Super Glide? I don't remember Super Glide. Okay, let's see. I like the pumpkin head though. 7287. Seven. I gotta go with this one then. Okay. We never upgraded our gummy ship. We're still like the base model. Oh my gosh. B.I. drove 1,600 miles from Pennsylvania to Texas that five hours is nothing. Oh my gosh. Insanity, thank you for the bits. Hey, I've done my far, my fair, so my far, far, I was saying like far distance. I was like, I keep getting myself tongue-tied. I blame English. I've done my fair share of far driving. I keep mixing my words around. It's like word dyslexia, I guess. Anyways, uh, I've done my fair share of very far driving things being a travel nurse. I prefer to fly, but also if it's within like a certain radius, I usually drive so I can have my own car and I don't have to rent one, but okay. We found the new Navi gummy piece. Let's go back to town. Sit on Where are you headed? Bring it to him. Plane trip or road trip? And what do you prefer? I prefer, I mean, I don't like driving for long distances, even though I have to do it quite often, you know, for my job. But I prefer to fly, <laughs> especially if I'm on contract, because if I fly, like, I get a lot of benefits and stuff like that. Like, being you a travel nurse. Work, because English is not your first language, it's okay, B. We still love you. <laughs> Insanity. Thank you for the bits. Brett's just not here to make fun of me, huh? Um, but yeah, I prefer to fly, but then also, depending on how long I'm going to be there, I prefer to have my own car versus a rental. Um, just because I feel like more comfortable in it and if something happens at least it's my own car versus a rental um, And then also too, it's just easier for me to drive cars that I'm like more used to driving Because like every time you get a rental it takes me a while to kind of like get adjusted to driving it What's up sure? How are you doing? You got Fiverr? That's awesome That sounds very epic, very epic What house is this? I had no idea that he was right here. I thought he was in like District 3. The one that Sid's house is? I thought that's where he moved into. But you know that the batteries work in a rental lol JK. Wow, Pac. Wow. I can't believe this. I can't believe this. This disrespect, Pac. <laughs> Thank you for the bits. That is true though. That is true. What's up, Lotus? How are you doing? How have you been? How are you? Hey, it's Sora. Well, hello, Sora. How did you get here? A man named Leon helped us. He even got us in this house to live in. I don't know how I'll ever repay his kindness. Say, so, yeah, I hear you three are fighting the Heartless. I thought I might be be able to help you, so I made this. Geppetto. Of course, Pinocchio and I can't thank you enough. Good, how are you? I'm tired, eternally tired, Lotus, but it's all good. Eventually, I'll be able to rest. Do anything we can to help you. 
Let's see if we can upgrade it. Getting it's your teeth a bit kicked of in a orc? More like a Final Fantasy side story. I'm hoping you would enjoy it. Should I add it to your birthday list? I'm getting a copy as well. I need to look into it, Luke. I swear, like, I haven't heard of it at all. My chair keeps wanting to tip this way. It keeps rotating. I'll have to look into it. Did you actually get your, like, Speaking did you get hit, Kaya, Lotus? You or is that just saying that your job has been, like, crazy stressful? I got hit by a patient one time so hard, it dislocated my jaw, and it's still not right, actually. <laughs> I took a hook to the face from a grown man. <laughs> my god. The things that have happened to me in medicine, I swear. <laughs> Insanity, thank you so much for the bits. Uh, I have been sleeping kind of like off and on. I don't know. You know, like sometimes I go like 48 hours without sleeping just because I can't. But knows what it is. Sir William, out, sorry. Yeah, so that's one of the things with medicine that they don't tell you about. At least the job that I work in and like and what um ER psych and stuff like that when somebody's having like so a he, psychiatric you still crisis. Be in a blizzard? We're getting a bomb cyclone snowstorm here Friday to Saturday Antisira what? What's a bomb cyclone? What does that mean? That sounds crazy. <laughs> like, what does that mean? Thank you for the bits. Also. Gotta take boxing classes. I know, right? <laughs> It's crazy. Look what I've cooked up this time. Tain Sid. There you go. Let's see. You have no idea? You gotta look that up. Balm Cyclone. We've got Cactuar. I feel like this is gonna go on for a while. I thought he was the one who did my ship. I guess it just gives me stuff. Very curious. I'd like to experiment with him in a bit. Okay. Let's go see Sid. Insanity! Thank you so much for the five gifted subs! Thank you, thank you, thank you! I really, really appreciate you! Thank you so, so, so much! Thank you, thank you, thank you! What's up, Jet? How are you doing? Yeah, I was stuck in a blizzard in Turkey on my way here to Dubai. Literally, snow nattos. I didn't know what that was. It's been crazy weather this year. What? That must be the coolest thing to see though, right? I got hit and bitten by a patient. We had to fight someone the other day and I actually shed a tear on a call for the first time, oh. but I'm good I'm off today, so I'm relaxing. My god, Lotus. That's one of the things. People rarely know how dangerous it can be, you know? I DK what dangerous. it means be, but I am scared. Will you come take care of me, Antisira <laughs> Tihi? I don't know if I can survive the cold. <laughs> To be honest, PR. My God, if you me in Colorado, I'll bundle that like a marshmallow. I like, can't even bend my arms. Kuro, a bomb cyclone which occurs through the process known as bombogenesis is basically a winter hurricane. <laughs> like a winter hurricane sounds terrifying. Absolutely terrifying. What's up, Bacon? How are you doing? You haven't had anyone try to bite you yet in IT? Oh my god. That's, if I could take the danger out of medicine, that'd be the biggest thing. And of course we have security, but security often doesn't do much. <laughs> my goodness. Well, just remember what Donald said to you. You write no B at 40, family. you're cold, you no won't like minus 10. Pieces. How can you be so cheerful? That would be so hard to handle. Of your king. Yeah. <laughs> so hard. Aren't you worried? Ah, girl. The king told us to go out and find the key bearer, and we found you. So as long as we stick together, it'll all work out okay. I love that optimism. You just gotta believe in yourself. That's you just gotta all. believe. Just believe. Wolf, welcome to the stream. We're so happy to have I you believe. here. How are you doing? Childhood optimism. B, rest assured that if I was your patient, I would never punch you in the jaw. The most you can expect from me is a light spanking here and there. Moscow, thank you so much for the best. 
I appreciate you not uh, trying to punch me. And people try to fight over it. They want to keep it for themselves. And darkness was born in their hearts. The amount of times I've beat the brakes off people because they pointed a loaded machine gun at me. The last one I legit just stood there and said, if it's my time, it's my time, screw it. It covered everything the small kids as fragments of light survived in the hearts of children. I'll replay yours here in a second, Insanity. With these fragments of light, children rebuilt the lost world. It's the world we live in now. But the true light sleeps deep within the darkness. That's why the worlds are still scattered. Divided from each other. But someday a door to the innermost darkness will open. And the true light will return. So listen, child, even in the deepest darkness, there will always be a light to guide you. Believe in the light and the darkness will never defeat you. Your heart will shine with its power and but push the darkness away. But just getting the ability to be here and see a gorgeous nurse like you makes the firefighter Kyrie? worth it. I wish I could slam you on a hospital bed and lock the door and play poke the IV all night, Kappa. <laughs> Yoshi, thank you so much for the follow. I really appreciate you. Thank you, thank you. What's the matter? They're like, where the hell did you go, Sora? Pay attention. Kyrie, did you call me? Deep thoughts for a kid's game. So cute. The Tao of Kingdom Hearts. The Tao of Kingdom Hearts. B, I think she was talking about you. Where's my cursor? Where the hell did I go? Insanity, the amount of times I beat the brakes off people because they pointed a loaded machine gun at me, the last one I legit just stood there and said, it's my time, screw it. My god. That's the thing, yeah. A lot of people just don't understand. <laughs> Proper gun safety. Don't go pointing guns at people. Lotus, just being the ability to be here and see a gorgeous nurse like you makes being a firefighter worth it. <laughs> That's so sweet. Pack deep thoughts for kid games, for real. A curl, thank you so much for the bits. That's one of the things that uh, actually like going to the dentist and stuff like that, it's specifically this side of my jaw that got damaged when a patient hit me. And I still have times where I have difficulty and like pain and stuff like that just on the joint. He hit me so hard, it like damaged the joint on the right side of my face. Terrible, like the TMJ joint. Isn't that crazy? So like you go into school like for nursing and stuff like that and you spend so much time to become a nurse then you get there and people beat the hell out of you my god and then i feel bad like afterwards because when they come down from like their high and stuff like that like they're always so sad and they feel terrible for like what they did but i'm like dude <laughs> you still can't take the fact that you hit me which the thing too is to hit a nurse in uniform is the same legally as attacking a cop in uniform. So if I were to press charges on somebody, that's a pretty serious charge, you know? But I mean, obviously they're under the influence of something and they didn't do it like in the right state of mind. But I'm like, dude, you dislocated my jaw. And not only that, I mean, I'm walking around and people think that I'm being abused, like, you know, like romantically or something like that. Like I, my I face is you black. Make me just wanna smother you in love and take care of you when that stuff happens. Insanity. <laughs> Thank you for the bits. I appreciate you. And, and for the kind words. My god, though. That's terrible. Like, your lips all split oh, man, and everything that's is black. The I have issues with, too. I'm having surgery in, like, two weeks. May need a home nurse after Antisira Tihi. What are you having surgery for, PR? Why is this the first time that I'm hearing and about this? And you want to switch to physics. Dot why again? Seriously, that's <laughs> insane. You really have paid your dues, SMH. I agree, Pac. I'm far more interested on the research side than being on the floor anymore. I say on the floor. Like, typically you say the floor is like med surge and stuff like that. I guess like being in the ER. Um, I do feel like I've paid my dues and I have multiple scars and medical issues related to that. But the worst thing was, yeah, like when somebody hits you in the face and to have the bruising on your face, and like, even if you try to cover it up with makeup and stuff like that, people can still see the bruising on your face, especially like when they split my lip. 
my lip has been split quite a few times actually and I have like quite a bit of scar tissue like here on my upper lip from like getting punched in the mouth <laughs> and my tooth cut the inside of my mouth but anyways that's a huge reason why like I ended up going into physics and stuff like that I'm very tired of being hit and it's also another story to be hit by like a woman and then to be hit by a frugal grown man on PCP. It's just two completely different things, you know? Retsu, welcome back! We missed you, Retsu! We missed you, we missed you! Obi, I'm gonna need my birthday spanking. You wanna volunteer? I'm gonna need 28 of them, Antisira Tihi. <laughs> Is that what you want for your birthday, Eric? <laughs> thank you for the bit. Thank you, thank you. Okay, we got a new navigation gummy. But you know that place is crawling with heartless. Dental surgery on Don't my right side. Want. Not looking forward to its sad face. Ah, are they gonna completely put you under? I must God. be a move of course every time I see you. I wanna nut kippo kippo lulu poke 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 kippo. My God, hive. My God. <laughs> Don't say I didn't warn you. Here, take this along. I can see how that'd be hard for boyfriends to deal with. Men are action oriented and it'd be hard for them just to see you beaten daily. Well, that's like an actually an interesting thing to pack. Um I've had people who have liked me at the hospital. And a lot of our techs actually there. They were all like ex-military people and stuff like that. And it would be a very interesting thing, I guess, like to see because like I'm always trying to protect my patients and stuff like that. And I've had quite a few people who have been interested in me, even though I didn't feel the same way towards them. But it's like you can see something click because like the minute somebody pushes me or I get thrown or Maybe something you like want that. Meat or spicy lines tonight? I have a pickup line I want to <laughs> try. Wallace, you go for either, whichever one you're feeling for today. And thank you for the bits. Thank you, thank you. But there was like one time. I got like pushed into the crash cart or something like that, and I See, saw the connect. I finally got your gift. Disconnect. Your unwashed gym towel smells just like <laughs> cupcakes, and it's a nice addition to my collection. <laughs> hater, what's up? How are you doing? Thank you for the bits, Hater. <laughs> Could you imagine? That would be like the weirdest thing to send somebody. Oh my god. Um, but back to what you were saying, Pac. Yeah, like I saw it all in slow motion. It was like somebody who went from being like, this is IDK, protocol can you call to my like... dentist and tell them to knock me the F out? <laughs> they went from going, I guess, like calm and like protocol oriented until like I got pushed into the crash cart and then chaos ensued. And then I saw like the militant piece just like kick in. And I'm like, dear God, please don't hurt my patient. Which is hard to say too, right? Because this guy is beating the hell out of you. Throwing you every which way, so... You want to restrain them, but you also don't want to hurt them, you know? And they're also not in the right state of mind. So, I don't know, it's just an interesting factor, because I feel like there's something within them that's, like, trying to protect you in a way, especially if they're interested in you and they like you, even if you don't feel the same way, you know? It's like, in a way, they're trying to protect you, and it gets beyond them being able to, like, rationalize it, I guess. I don't know, I've seen some crazy stuff in the ER. Furious, it's not red, it's just my ears lit up. It looks red though, I guess. I never really stopped to think about it until you guys started pointing it out. PR, thank you for the bits. I don't know, see that's my thing with my wisdom teeth. I don't want to be completely put out. Did you fall from out. heaven? Cause so did Lucifer, the prince of lies. <laughs> Wallace, thank you so much for the bits. He's Hover, supposed to be like the most beautiful fallen angel though, right? Can't have hot girls on the front lines. Maybe that's what happened to me. Hi, I feel like this is a case study of why we can't have hot girls on the front <laughs> There is psychologically truth to that though, however. Well, especially since you're so tiny. I can imagine guys get pretty protective. I am quite petite. That is true, Pac. That is true. Um, they did a study back in the day that kind of like back in the day and stuff like that when they wouldn't put women like more so on the front lines and stuff like that because Especially if you're in like a situation of war where you have like these high adrenaline situations and stuff like that and you have the fear of like loss of life and all of these emotions compounded in on itself and then also I mean you can't have a situation I'll go into that another day because that's a, a much deeper conversation to be had about the psychology 
of the way the brain works and stuff like that and why that isn't necessarily like a good idea. But obviously that causes a lot of societal issues and so forth past that, but... <laughs> I'm too tired to have the capacity to go into that today. Let's see. So he gave me a transformer to other gummy ships. It's a select two ships. Okay. I don't want to be a knight in shining armor. That's a man that has never had his metal tested. <laughs> Wallace, thank you. Thank you for the bits. The death guy is flyable. This one's flyable. Warp, yes, she'll know. Speed of a lot of armor. I like this carbuncle one. Yeah, we saw that in combat. The practical applications of women in the military was difficult to get past 100,000 years of conditioning. I've never taken an oath to protect life, so I'll more than gladly step in to protect the queen. <laughs> Zesty, thank you for the bits. Thank you, thank you. Pack, you saw that in combat. Yes. I mean, because there's something... The majority of people, if you have a situation where you have like a woman or a child in danger versus like a grown man in danger, typically, typically speaking, psychologically speaking, it is ingrained in us to protect the woman and the child, especially because they're not necessarily as capable of protecting themselves because they're not in general going to be as strong as like a grown man. I mean, but also too, there's something just biologically that we are hardwired to protect like women and children. And sometimes that can make people make the wrong decision going to protect the woman or child versus focusing more so on the task at hand. You know what I mean? That's a very interesting conversation though. It's very interesting psychologically, like how we were kind of like hardwired. It's just the same thing too. Like I don't have children, but as soon as I see a kid in a situation that I'd be like, that looks a little unsafe. Like my mind is already preoccupied on that kid. Cause it's almost like maternal instincts that you don't necessarily like have control over that it is ingrained for me to want to protect the child. You know, it's interesting the way the mind and the body works. How do I get out of here? I'm stuck. <laughs> I still need to take time to do all this stuff. I can't remember how to get out of here. Place what? Oh my God. What have I done? I destroyed everything. I would drown everything. my whole platoon off a cliff into a volcano if there was a 10% chance to rescue you from a paper cut. <laughs> I am... Thank you for the donation. Thank you, thank you. Reaper, no, I don't have red hair. It's just, it's the light of the ears that makes it look red. Uh, oh my god, I'm getting everything. Everything is getting all freaking stuck everywhere. Retsu, I love the psychology of people, the social engineering side. It's very interesting, isn't it? It's a very interesting concept. I heard something the other day about pretty privilege. Do you think you are victim of that at times? I mean, come on, I have seen the Aurora Borealis and it doesn't hold a candle to you. Wallace, that's so sweet. <laughs> That's adorable. It was interesting even in training seeing that dynamic. We can try to ignore the difference in gender but practically speaking there really was an automatic response, regardless of how much you were trained otherwise. That's very true, Pac. Very true. It's a very interesting Anytime I've seen situation. kids or elderly hurt I get unreasonably angry. Women it depends if we talking women like B or women like Ronda Rousey. Even women like Ronda Rousey, even. Even women like her. And I mean, she's very strong for her, for being a female and for her size. She is very strong. Obviously, I could not win a fight with Ronda Rousey. <laughs> I'm not a fighter at all to begin with anyways. But it's just very interesting mentally, like how our minds uh, function. You know, they're like, usually men tend to be the protectors, even if you're not like, Consider even if you don't consider yourself that that way. Typically speaking, psychologically, there's peace ingrained in you that makes you tend to act more like a protector, versus where women will tend to be more nurturing and maternal and so forth. 
I mean, it's the same thing too. It's just like animalistically speaking, like you're not, if you're walking alone on the street or something like that and you see like a grown man behind you, if you're a man, you might be like, what's this guy doing? But if you see like a small female, you're like, well, she's not really much of a threat. You know what I mean? It's just interesting the way that our minds work, that women tend to not be, I don't know, a threatening figure, whereas like a male could because he could actually contest you. You know what I mean? It doesn't matter how mad I get, what am I gonna do? You know what I mean? <laughs> I can't really harm you much. I mean, unless we're talking like medically or something. If we but PvP just in FF14 and you use a red on. mage, I ain't holding back I am sorry love. The nooblet versus the best red mage in Eorzea. <laughs> Come on. You wanna go, Kuro? You wanna go, Kuro? <laughs> I don't believe in pretty privilege because it takes away the effort and time put forward to look like B. It's insulting when people say you're lucky you're pretty. Bish, Shay earned her pretty like you earned your fugly. <laughs> that was savage. That yes, was savage, Hyde. Yes, be behind you trying to take a kidney XD. Yeah, as long as you don't come across me with a scalpel, you're good. Ronda Rousey and I transitioned together. <laughs> Brett, thank you so much for the donation. I appreciate you. Retsu, thank you for the bits. <laughs> My goodness. IDKB, if I see you, I might walk the other way. You going to steal my soul and what's left of my youth? <laughs> Look, now armed or with medications is a different story. Couldn't harm us? That room of oddities may say something different. That's right. If I'm armed or if I have medications, then I'm dangerous. But just hand to hand, there's not much I can do. I'm not very strong. Not at all. I might be strong comparatively to myself, but... I'm not very strong. Why don't we revisit other worlds first? I'm sure we'll find some new items. We could do that. Somebody said go back to the Coliseum. Let's do that. What's up, Michael? How are you doing? Hand to hand combat. <laughs> yeah, I'm not very strong. Not very strong. But I'm smart though, and that can be just as dangerous. B, you don't need to be armed. You have looks that kill. <laughs> oh, PR, it's adorable. Still don't have this trinity yet, do I? I would no. drag my butt cheeks through a mile of broken glass to get a chance to wrestle with you. <laughs> Between bed sheets, hoo hoo hoo, lu 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 lu. Yeah. <laughs> I like the hoo hoo hoo. Antisira Bakugo, how are you gonna carry me when the Russians drink me under the table? I would try really hard, Kuro. Really hard. Bo 5 u Hand to PP combat. Let's go. I have to build a little dolly for you, Kuro, so I can just roll you around. Hi! <laughs> thank you for the donation. Thank you, thank you. Dark, you're strong. Remember, the brain is muscle too, and it's an important one at that. Oh, certainly. I mean, so that's the thing too, is like back when I was in EMS, everybody was always at, saying like, oh, are you trying to follow in your father's footsteps? So my dad is a fireman. And I was like, absolutely not. I know my strengths and I know my weaknesses and physical strength is not obviously like my forte. So I was like, there's no way that I can pull a grown man and full fire gear out of a burning building. There's absolutely no chance he in hell. We'll we all burn. Pen when I pass out from whiskey or shine LMAO. <laughs> An Effie? Oh my god, insanity, Jesus Christ. <laughs> thank you for the bits. Thank you, thank you. And so that's the thing to where, to me, you know, it's like, if you can do the job, more power to you. I am not somebody who could. I can't even pretend or lie to myself that I could ever do something like that. Now, when it comes down to being smart, when it comes down to like getting my PhD in physics and being a physicist, being an RN, being a trauma nurse, like calculating drips and stuff like that, sure, I can most definitely do that. But when it comes down to like brawn, I clearly am not strong enough to do the job. So it's just like knowing your strengths, knowing your weaknesses, you know what I mean? And yeah, you can be equally as dangerous being smart versus being You're strong. You're trained at shooting and in sword. How do you feel about your ability to protect yourself in terms of will? Could you pull the proverbial trigger? <laughs> Thank you for the bits. Thank you, thank you. Adrenaline straight to my heart or my PP your choice. Um, pack, 
I've done marksmanship all my life. And in high school, that was what I competed in. Like that was my varsity team and stuff like that and competitive shooting. I'm very, I'm a very good shot. And I know it's funny, right? Because I seem like I'm blind with my big old glasses and stuff like that, but I've always been around guns. I can handle guns very well. And I think I'm very good. <laughs> Not that I would ever have a situation where I would actually need to fight with my rapier, but I mean, if I could, I'm very, very, and I am a very modest person. I am very good fencing wise. Cause fencing is a finesse weapon. Like let's say in general, like when I would fence, I was the only female there. And a lot of the men can very easily like brute force my rapier out of the way. But if you have finesse and you know what you're doing, you can combat that easily because like my sword is 42 inches compared to theirs is usually like 45 inches and the thing is is like my blade is shorter than theirs is specifically because i don't really have the strength to like carry a larger so sword add gun range with b to my h town trip got it b <laughs> insanity thank you for the bits thank you thank you that is a big thing in houston um but yeah, they'll try to like brute force me out of the way, but if you can catch Red the blade in the right place. 69 inches, hoo -hoo -hoo. <laughs> hey there. <laughs> thank you for the bits. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Um, the majority of the fencing team and stuff like that will try to keep me at a certain distance because like once I pass the tip, <laughs> there's no stopping me. Because I have far more mobility than they do, you know? <laughs> That's perfect timing. My sword is more like a pocket <laughs> knife. Two inches KTHX. Uh, Rhett, thank you so much for the donation. I appreciate you. <laughs> but do as well. Thank you so much for the follow. I really appreciate you being here. Thank you, thank you. Savage, welcome to the stream. We're so happy to have you here. Thank you so much for the follow. Pass the tip. Doesn't sound sus at all. It's the truth though, man. It's the truth. I mean, and I like that too in fencing because it is very much finesse. You know what I mean? Like if you're gonna actually sword fight Just somebody. Like in life, brains and finesse trumps brawn. Assuming you get past the tip, of course. <laughs> pack, thank you so much for the bits. B, you had me a past the tip Antisira nosebleed. <laughs> PR. Uh, but it, it's crazy too. Because like foils and stuff like that, they're all s much smaller and much lighter of a blade. Women are deadly. Rapiers are... A Hispanic woman with a chancla is scary than a Navy SEAL. <laughs> or the wooden spoon, man. The wooden spoon. Not gonna lie, B, I'd play with your sword, tip and all. <laughs> Hater, thank you for the bits. Thank you, thank you. Um, but my rapier, I have a few actually, but my competitive rapier, I love it. Like I had the whole blade, the whole, my whole rapier is custom made and it's engraved and everything. It's got a custom hilt and everything, but it's crazy because it's a very heavy sword to carry around and to like to use. And so it's interesting because like men have the strength and they have a longer e, sword. How do I stop being bad at every game I play? Plaza but I'm telling you when it comes to fencing, I can wreck, I can destroy. Uh, Red. <laughs> I'm still trying to figure that out myself, Red. And when I figure it out, I will tell you. Retsu, what's the grip style? Okay, so when you're talking about like a foil or an epee and something like that, those are the ones that have more of a pistol grip, to where you literally hold it like this. You hold it like a gun. Um, a rapier is different. I can show you guys if you're actually interested, if you guys want to see my competitive rapier. I have to go get it from downstairs, though. I have it in my display case. I also haven't been keeping up to it too much, but if you guys want to see it, I can definitely show it to you. You want to see it? Uh, Zah, thank you so much for the host. I really appreciate you. I'll show you. Hopefully I don't knock off my webcam. <laughs> Trying to show it to you. I'll Pull show you. Pull the sword out and stab me. Insanity. Okay, let me go grab it real quick. I'll be right back. Oh, right? Can I show? No, 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 I can. I can. I can show you the rapier. Right it's a blunted tip anyways, <laughs> so it's not like you're gonna kill somebody with it. I'd have to have it sharpened. Okay, I'll be right back. Hold on. B, I used that sword to clear out all the squirrels in your backyard. You may need a new one, my fault.
I saw it myself TMI.twitch.tv U-S-E-R-N-O-T-I-C-E hash Bianca Antisira. Insanity! Thank you so much for the gift that subs. PR, thank you so much for the bit. Insanity, thank you, thank you, thank you. And Rats too. <laughs> thank you guys so much. Thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you. So, so, so much for the gift that subs. Thank you. Thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you. That is so kind of you. Thank you. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Damn hater, <laughs> to hit sub goal. Hater, thank you so much. Thank you, thank you, thank you, hater. You guys are so sweet. Thank you. Thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you. Thank you so much. That's so sweet of you. <laughs> thank you. <laughs> thank you, thank you, thank you. Revolution. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Okay, let me show y'all. This is my competition blade. So I have a practice blade and a competition blade. I don't know if you guys are gonna be able to see it very much. We'll see. Uh, Insanity, thank you so much for the bits. Thank you, thank you. Lotus, thank you so much for the gifted sub. And Myro, thank you so much for the bits. Thank you, thank you, thank you. I'll try to get to it um, before all the subs finish. Okay, so this is my competition rapier. It's 42 inches. It's five pounds. Um, you're not supposed to grab it by the blade because you can crack it. So this is called a Pappenheimer grip. If you guys can see, um, my hilt is flower engraved. There's actually flowers here, but you guys probably can't really see it. So this is called a Pappenheimer where it splits in two because this is the guard that protects my hand from me like breaking my fingers and stuff like that. Um, so yeah, this is a Pappenheimer, um, I, it has like a single fuller. I don't know if you guys can see it. If you see this little indention here, it has like a single fuller is what it's called. They also have double fullers, but these kind of make the weight a little different and it makes it just like slightly lighter. I don't know if you guys, oh, and so whenever it comes down to actually holding, I don't want to hit anything. Um. But when you have like foils and FAs and stuff like that, they're very, very, very light and they're more of a pistol grip. And so this, you actually hold it. I don't want to swing and hit anything. You can use one finger or two. Uh, if you see how my hand is, I use two because I don't have the strength to do it with one, but you can use it like this. So hard to show it to you. <laughs> Insanity, thank you. Viva uh, LA Revolution. <laughs> so I typically hold mine like this, just so I can control it better. You know I hate when people act like they're too good for McDonald's. Talking about, I care what goes into my body, like B asterisk TCH. I've seen your exes, no you don't. Savage, Myro, my god. <laughs> Street B, savage. You really are the DPS queen, aren't you? Um... It is a custom, and it's blackened, C3. I had the metal blackened, so it's not like super, super shiny. Um, I specifically wanted it a blackened blade. Um, I also have it engraved. I don't know if you guys can see it. Let's see. Uh, uh, uh. Be real question. You guys Does that reach there above your belly button or can shoulders? You guys see the engraving? Maybe. Um. Yo. <laughs> Venom, thank you so much for being a sub for 14 months. Thank you, thank you, thank you. I really appreciate you. Thank you so much. You can kind of see it. You had me at, you can use one finger or two. <laughs> Voscal, thank you for the bits. Most, most men will use one finger to control it. <laughs> I use two because I don't have the wrist strength to be able to use it properly. So I use two fingers. <laughs> <laughs> so the top fingers control the nuanced positioning of the blade? Yeah, so it's, it's all in the wrist pack. <laughs> it's fully all in the wrist. So anyways, you, uh, this is how I hold it. And so whenever you're holding your blade, you're actually holding it out like this. 
And so there's four different guards depending on like what school or which style you follow. Some have three, some have four and stuff like that. But anyways. <laughs> oh my God. Finger got it, let's try it tonight. <laughs> oh my God, Lotus, thank you for the vids. Uh, so anyways, this is considered your off tan and stuff like that. So you can actually, you can't grab somebody's blade. You can actually kind of like push the dull part of it like out of the way. So this is going to be more to like defend your face and stuff like that. Um, kind of like in a boxing, how you always keep your hand kind of up. So you'll hold your if hand this wrist, to defend I'm yourself. I'm guessing this is coming from experience. <laughs> Myra, <laughs> thank you for the vids. Thank you. Thank you. Um, thank you for the vids. <laughs> I'm trying to, to explain this as best as I can. Um, <laughs> Two in the pink, one in the stink. Retsy, thank you for the donation. Thank you, thank you. Uh, but yeah, so like the entire way, what you want to do is whenever you have your actual blade up, it's all in the way that you move it. Because if somebody tries to like blunt force, you know, your blade out of the way, if you can catch their blade properly, you can actually like run alongside the blade and then you can lunge in and actually hit them in the face or in the chest or something like that. But this is a very, very heavy blade compared to other types. And sabers, on the other Feel hand, are much shorter. Feel free to try out my blade anytime, Bianca. I'm sure you'd love it. <laughs> Lotus. Thank you for the bits. In Thank martial you. arts, it's similar with nuanced finesse versus brute force. One of my two black belts is in Aikido and it's about precision. Redirection of an opponent's force and precision yeah. is destructive and incredible. <laughs> Pack. I've seen that a lot with Aikido and stuff like that, like using somebody else's movement and momentum against them. And that's essentially a lot of what fencing is as well. It's a lot like a dance because you're trying to always hit like the same type of cadence like against them because like there's different moves that have like a longer time like a longer tempo and so if they're going to execute something like that like a lunge and stuff like that you can move on a much faster tempo if you are expecting them to do it that way um but if you use somebody's strength against them like fencing is a very good way to do that you can do a lot of stuff like you don't have to be strong by any means I can't like hold my blade up for very long, so I usually have it like closer to the floor, at least the tip to the floor. <laughs> that way I'm not fighting to keep my blade like up in front of myself, you know? Can you show us your scholar book next in the schoolgirl outfit that goes with it? Antisira Tihi, Antisira Nosebleed. PR, thank you for the bits. Thank you, thank you. One or two fingers. Now we five finger people around here. <laughs> Insanity. I knew. I knew as soon as I brought this out, it was going to be quite the interesting time. However, I think it's very interesting. I'm a huge fan of my competition blade. I spent a lot of time and having everything exactly how I wanted it. B, that's a beautiful sword. You can use that for half the spankings and Sira Tihi. <laughs> Eric, thank you for the bits. Thank you, thank you. In martial arts, you have circular versus linear styles. Is rapier line. more circular in the dance or direct and linear? Rapier tends to be more in a circle. I usually did more Brazilian Jiu Jitsu, which we can also try tonight as well. Mandy, <laughs> we have so many ideas we can try tonight. Lotus, pack, thank you for the bits. Thank you, thank you. Roses are red, violets are blue. I got five fingers, tonight you'll get two. <laughs> oh my god! Phoenix, thank you so much for being a sub for 12 months. Antisira, I really, love, really Antisira, appreciate love, you. Antisira, love, Antisira, love, oh Antisira, love, 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 Smoochies, Antisira, Smoochies. Um, so Pac, when you see like, um, let's say like Olympic fencing and stuff like that, where they use the foils and the epes and stuff like that, they're very linear. Like they go like back and forth and stuff. And a lot of times too, they'll just like get you in the hand. Be so can I bring a katana or a claymore to fencing class or is that frowned upon? That would certainly be frowned upon. Certainly be frowned upon. <laughs> Insanity. Um, and so they're very linear. Like whenever you use rapier typically, you use like the entire area, like your entire like little arena, like to where if you were like to go hand, like to actually fight somebody, 
with a rapier, you'd be moving around, you know what I mean? You'd be going in different ways. Um, and one of my favorite moves that I always do is like you actually move out of line and it's just, I don't know, I feel like it can be, if I posted more of this stuff maybe on Instagram and stuff like that, maybe if you guys saw an emotion it'd be easier to explain. Um, <laughs> but it's an interesting, it's an interesting uh, dynamic, I guess. I would certainly say that rapier is much more difficult to control than the other blades, I would say. Saber is very interesting too though. They kind of make me laugh because they crab walk. They do like a, their little stances and stuff like that. They look like a little crab. Like they have their arm like this and then they have their <laughs> saber and they sidestep. They look like little crabs and then they'll do a move, which I can't do it because I, I don't want to knock everything off, but they'll do like a sweep around so them. I guess I might only option it's like, is bring a metal bladed lightsaber or dark saber. That would be interesting to do. That would be really fun to do in Sanity. Um, but yeah, it's... <laughs> Saber, saber users Roses make me are laugh, red. usually. Violets or blue rapiers are all about tip. I have one of the for you, too. Lotus, thank you for the bits. Thank you, thank you. When you fence, do you jump around like a bunny, too? Or is that just an FF lol? <laughs> the PR, they actually get on me quite a bit because when I go to stab somebody, I'll stand on my tippy toes. Because one, I'm very short compared to the people that I fence. But two, it's because I figure skated that any move that I was it gonna do- It does sound very dance-like. It's the reason I love Aikido. I know it sounds weird, but it feels zen when you're in a match. Mm-hmm. Yeah, it's very much like a dance, definitely. Big time, pack. Um, but yeah, they'll usually get on me because I'll stand on my tippy toes when I go to stab somebody. <laughs> exactly, Dark. Uh, it's very- dance-like, I'd say, and I think a lot of it is because of figure skating, to where if you see on figure skating uh, skates, they have a pick on the front of it, it kind of looks like that. And so you'll pick at the ice, and that's how you jump and like throw yourself to spin and stuff like that. So typically, when I will go to lunge at somebody or stab somebody, I stand up on my tippy toes because I'm using that force to like project me forward but I need to stop using that because it could be more so of like a tell that I'm about to do something. And it's that tiny little moment that you give somebody where they can react to you and you don't want them to. So you don't want to stand on your tippy toes, but that's what I do. Let me put this over here. If I brought my two scimitars down to Houston, can we play hide the sword in my body? I also forgot to say that the pommel on my competition blade is different as well. Like, that's not a typical pommel. I actually took that from a different blade altogether. But as long as it was regulation, I could have a different pommel. So I actually used one from a different sword and put it together. If you ever need a new carpet <laughs> floor to practice fencing on, I know someone named Myro who would happily offer Thierself. <laughs> Hater Myro, Kuro, Zesty, thank you so much for the bits. Thank you, thank you, thank what you. What does the engraving say? It's Latin for the dais cast. Because I'm such I a weeb like that. I have 15 lightsabers. Pick 13 others and give us ominous instructions to meet in a park in Houston at a random time so you can beat the crap out of us. <laughs> that would be funny. <laughs> That's, so does the special nature of figure skating give you an edge in body movement in fencing? It definitely helps you keep your form better and to like engage your core and stuff like that because when you're figure skating you're actually making figures, right? So when you actually, when they do like the loop and stuff, whenever they're doing turns, they're holding themselves that way so that they make a perfect circle. That I'm going like, to Walmart and getting skating. a lightsaber and a dark saber for my Houston trip. <laughs> what color do you want cause girl I'm getting the dark saber? Did I miss one? Okay, wait. Pack, thank you for the bits. Smitty, thank you so much for the follow. Stab. It's usually after I say something about your driving skills, lol. <laughs> PR, thank you so much for the bits. I've always wanted a lightsaber, but I never had one. Though I'm not nearly as big of a Star Wars fan as I feel like most people are. I, I would still like to get one at some point. Um, but yes, I think figure skating helped me a lot, especially with like lunges and stuff like that, to where like to do a lunge properly. I feel like I have a lot of the memory from figure skating to be able to execute those things better. Not to mention the flexibility. However, since I tore my hamstring, 
figure skating. My left leg has never been like up to par, but I'm still working on it and stuff like that. And like doing yoga to be able to <laughs> get my left leg back to where it once was. Cause even sometimes too, like lunging, I feel like I'm overextending my hammy and it shouldn't feel that way, but it's because Bianca, I tore this it. this is my last dono cause I'm broke right now, but just know I'm glad you're my wife and you don't need a sword to please you. <laughs> I'll surprise you slam you on the counter and we can use two fingers in my sword. It has oh a shoot my... shoot funk. God. <laughs> oh my god. See what color do you want I will hand deliver it to you. Like Obi-Wan did with Luke. I like how you ended it with that was long. That's what you said. <laughs> Katha. Lotus, thank you so much for the bits. Thank you. Thank you. Insanity. I don't know. I feel like I need to look them up because I know that they have like different like you can get some that are Like you can change the hilts and stuff like that. I don't know. Actually at the Renaissance Festival They had some really really cool looking ones where you could kind of like semi design your own Jaws Pack broken. Jaws broken. Hamstring Hamstring. Wit, <laughs> bad eyes. Jeez. 20s and already falling apart lol. I'm 84 now. I'm 84. Yes, I do know that the different colors have different meanings for sure, VR. <laughs> I can't remember who asked me at some point. That's another story for another day. I'll I let know you know. I know some stretches insanity. we can do to I'll work you on know. your hamstrings, but they require a mattress. Hoo 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 hoo. Hater, thank you for the bits. Thank you, thank you. B, just let me know. I will let you know. I will. Okay, we need to get back to the game. I got distracted talking about my rapier. <laughs> okay. Prelims start soon. Let's do it. Let's do the prelims. Zesty, thank you so much for being here. I really appreciate you. Thank you, thank you, thank you. No, let's turn this into a just chatting bee. I know, everybody is always on me about doing a just chatting stream. Unfreeze, come on. My two finger grip. <laughs> oh my god. Mission accomplished. Though. I knew that it's was been longer stuff. than an hour winking face. Wow. It has been packed, that's true. I did say that most of these streams are just gonna be like an hour long this week. Let's see, I got I got sidetracked with my rapier. I knew that was gonna be <laughs> I knew that was gonna get out of hand a little bit. It's so funny, because like there's this one guy who used to go that he doesn't go anymore. But he was all about like telling me like how to hold like the grip and everything like that. And he was always fussing at me, but I would wreck him every time. Like he really didn't have any place to stay. But anyways, I didn't want to make him feel bad. So I would hear him out anyways. But he was always going on to like, you need to do this, you need to do that. And like, dude, my wrist strength is not as strong as yours. And she wanted to role play. I don't know why she ran off. I just told her I was going to be a little rapier. Hi, why? <laughs> why, why? Oh my god. Um, but yeah, like he was always going on at me. Oh my god, it was just ridiculous. And he was not understanding. I was like, your, your wrist is stronger than mine. And it's like, he just was in the state of disbelief. And I was like, your wrist is stronger than mine, I'm telling you. That's fine. And that's okay. I'm still gonna beat you. B, we wanna just chatting that because we love having in-depth conversations game. with you about just about oh, everything. Take them out. The games, while always extremely fun, make it to where we the can't have long conversations. Of kid? Insanity, that's so Sorry, sweet. Thank you. I know. You think I don't know. If you need to increase your wrist strength, I know, I know some exercises we can do, but they require a mattress. Hoo 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 hoo. Come on. <laughs> Hater, thank, like you thank you for the bits. Thank you, thank you. Our girl. It's all just a game. Thank you, girl. So I'm fun with it. I mean, Did I make him cry? No, 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 no. <laughs> I mean, there have been a few times where I've hurt him unintentionally, because he was very slow to move. I was much quicker than he was, and he would like slowly step in as I went to like lunge at him, and it would just be like medicine with doctors. 
disguise man explain to you a bit? How do you deal with that in general? Ten swords, venison with doctors. I mean, I feel like I treat anybody regardless of. Uh... I agree with that insanity struck. Go upgrade to some wine and keep on talking. <laughs> wine stream? We gotta have a wine stream for uh for Valentine's, for sure. The pack, I mean, I treat everybody, I don't think whether you're a male or a female or whatever. I mean, it depends on the type of capability of the person speaking. Oh my god, this is gonna be hard to say with Cloud. Of course he blocked it. We wrecked him, my god! That was crazy! <gasps> that was insane! Jesus. Cloud needs to uh, upgrade the materia slots. He's a little weak. <laughs> cloud, poor Cloud. Ah, oh, Hercules! Just holding up Cerberus! <laughs> Look at Phil go! Okay, we gotta fight Cerberus. We gotta do it. Speed wrecked Cloud for real! Did you just speed wrecked Cloud? B I am so proud of you. <laughs> Insanity. Thank you for the bits. Thank you, thank you. Uh, but just like a little snippet, because I didn't really answer your question, Pac. To me, like, if, you, if anybody is talking with sense, I don't care if they're a man, like, or a woman, or something like that. You know, and I think a lot of times, too, if there is, like, say particularly, like, I deal with doctors a lot, and sometimes they want to talk to me like I have no idea what I'm talking about, uh, I will sit down and have a full-blown conversation with somebody. Especially, too, like, whenever they question my judgment and they want to get an attitude with me and stuff like that. Like, nursing and doctors were kind of like a check and balance system. So to me, I'm like, if this is not safe for the patient, I'm not gonna do it. And he can fight me all he wants. I'm like, okay, then you go and you do it. But I have a reason for why I chose not to do this. Um, but to me, like, I don't care if you're a man or a woman or whatever, I think respect is respect and you're gonna treat me with respect or we're gonna have a conversation. And I'm gonna, I have the facts for why I did what I did and I will sit down and explain them to you. And I mean, usually it ends up being something where maybe we don't see eye to eye and stuff like that. But at the end of the day, it's always with good intentions. But I'm by no means gonna do something just because that the doctor wants it done. No, I don't care if they're a man or woman or whatever, you know, but like, that's why we're there. Just because he writes a medication to give the patient doesn't mean that that's, I mean, that could be detrimental to the patient, you know? There are medical errors and stuff like that, so you have to question things. That's what we're there for, for the best, the betterment of the patient. I'm the patient's advocate. I don't care about his attitude. I don't care about my own personal opinions. I don't care about any of that stuff. At the end of the day, I'm the patient's advocate and I will fight for my patient tooth and nail because that's my job and that's what I'm there for. And they put faith in me that I will fight for them. So I don't care if the doctor gets mad, male or female, whatever. Come at me, bro. Come at me, bro. My god. But it was funny on like my last contract, it was on my first day there, and I got in an argument with the director of the ER. Because like I'm sitting there minding my own business, and this girl sits down and she was a receptionist. She had no medical knowledge or anything, and she's like sitting there trying to eat her meal. The doctor comes in, sits down, and just starts tearing into this girl about like her medical decisions and stuff like that. That pissed me off because I'm like, is that is this how you choose to spend your lunch? Like you just come in here and you pick on little girls? So anyways, me and the director got off on a very bad start. However, we were very good friends by the time I left. Very good friends by the time we left. <laughs> Turtle, thank you so much for the follow. Thank you, thank you. But I mean, I don't ever say things out of like anger and stuff like that. I will stand somebody Do down though if they're out of line. Fencing. Remember Harambe died for our sins. <laughs> Harambe died for our sins. Wallace, thank you so much for the bits. Thank you, thank you, thank you. What well, was funny too is there's this one doctor that we called the Candyman because he would always prescribe like crazy strong medications. And so anyways, we called him the Candyman. He was so funny. 
Like, this guy was a freaking legend. Like, he looked like Willy Wonka. <laughs> he was a legend, and he would show up to the ER, and he was, like, the main attending there. His car was, like, falling to pieces. It was, like, duct taped together. He looked like Willy Wonka. I called him Candyman, because he would always prescribe, like, Dilaudid or fentanyl or something like that, and I'm like, Jesus Christ, some strong medication. Anyways, so... Me and him would have all these discussions over like stoicism and philosophy and stuff like that. So one day I was at the nurse's station with like all of their administration and everything. And he's like, B, would you say you're more educated than your peers? And I was like, I mean, I wouldn't say that. And he's like, well, I'm going to tell you this right now. You're far more educated than all of your peers. You're if far I more well read. You, I don't want you to say I yes. Like, I want you to grab the oh ring and say my precious or I don't want it. Wallace, thank you so much for the bits. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. But I felt so awkward because I was like, I'm not gonna say that. And I was like, no, like, I don't know. I don't have all the answers. And he's like, I'm gonna tell you right now. You're leagues, <laughs> leagues above your colleagues. And I was like, oh my God, well, go back over here and mind my own business. Oh my gosh. Okay. Let's go try to fight Cerberus. Let's go fight him. Well, yeah, that's a good way to put a bullseye on your back politically. I know, right? Well, I wasn't intending on staying anyways, but... <laughs> I'm always the, the lone wolf in the hospital anyways. So, it is what it is. It do be like that sometimes. Antisira Flex Felks on MB Antisira Flex. See, like, that was the thing, too. I mean... You can figure it out. Nobody even has to tell you, like, who knows what's going on and what isn't going on. Like, I had a patient, for instance, that somebody had triaged incorrectly, and so put them basically, like, at the bottom tier. So essentially, like, kind of like a stub toe or, like, a case of the sniffles or something like that. Nothing major. And so anyways, I look on my screen. I had eight patients already. And so then I see this patient come in. I'm like, okay, so I see vitally and hemodynamically they're stable. They put them down as like an ESI-3, it's so like a very basic case. I ended up getting in there, I'm like, this woman is having an arterial bleed. It was insane. Like her leg was m rapidly filling up with blood. She was bleeding out internally. And arterial bleeds are the ones that you really don't want, right? Arteries are the ones that push blood away from your heart. So they're very strong. Like those are the ones you see in the movies where the blood will like splatter on the wall. Those are arterial bleeds. So this woman was having an arterial bleed internally in her leg it was insane see be other people see how great you are it's not just us that see it other people see it too you are the smartest kindest most wholesome nurse ever insanity that's so sweet thank you thank you thank you um but so anyways it was me and this doctor candy man and so he's like how has nobody seen this or whatever or like what's going on and he was like well <laughs> i know you had you didn't triage this patient because this would have been a completely different story you know what i mean if you have somebody who has sense to actually recognize this is a medical emergency i mean i can't go into her history and stuff like that but from a trauma nurse standpoint if i would have had gotten the history and stuff like that i mean you certainly should have done an assessment on the chief complaint but some nurses are just not up to par. Just like some doctors are just not up to par. This has been the best birthday yet love, Yabi. Eric, I'm so happy you're having fun. I'm so happy. What's up, Black Mike? How are you doing? What's up, Z3? <laughs> that doctor would crack me up. This is freaking Carl is always falling to pieces. Like you can hear him from like a mile away coming over the hill. <laughs> oh my god. They're too busy flirting with the doctors. Cheeky smiley face. That's true, Pac. That is true. Muhammad Ali said he was the greatest before he knew he was. I said Mo, you fool. Be the greatest. Don't make me fight you now. Kuro! Has anyone ever pulled a squints on you while you preformed CPR? 
I mean I would it would be worth the punch to the face and knee to the groin. I don't think I understand what you're asking, Wallace. I'm sorry. I don't understand. Like, are you saying that somebody came to and punched me after CPR? never seen Sanla SMA. I did actually when I was very little but I can't remember like anything He's from asking it. asking if anyone has faked suffocating just so you would give them CPR aka a kiss. Oh. <laughs> well first off if I'm doing CPR it is not like my mouth to mouth. <laughs> Uh, we have like bag about mad, like BBMs and stuff like that, that will breathe for you. So it's not actually like my lips. Unless somebody was, you know, that you find somebody down like in the middle of nowhere. And then also too, I mean, that being said, uh, if it's not like a kid or something like that, you're, you're still not gonna get that from me. PR, thank you for the fits. Thank you, thank you. You can also like use your hands and stuff like that to like make a barrier. Know the movie Sandlot so when the light bulb have. gave Squint CPR, he pretend to get a kiss. I see. I feel like I can remember that now. What does it take? Dang, well, so should I just get up now? <laughs> Kuro, thank you for the bits. Mur, thank you so much for the follow. I really appreciate you. No That's the thing too, like CPR is not fun at all. And it's very, it would be very difficult to pretend to be dead. The great bambino. Plus, I would always check for pulses before I started CPR. Anyway, if you know what I mean? I would do an assessment. So I would know you're just kidding. But, yeah, if somebody is not... If it's somebody that I don't know and it's not like a child or something like that... Uh, it's a different, it's a different story. The most important thing you need to do is continue your compressions as well. That is vitally, vitally important, especially if you witness somebody going down. <sighs> try to locate an AED and stuff like that, but yeah, I'd use my hands anyways. I mean, I'd try not be just to, to see contact. if it would work. Not gonna lie. <laughs> Insanity. <laughs> my goodness. Look at Cloud pouting over here. He got wrecked by a child, boy. Hey, are you alright? <laughs> Contemplating life. Yeah. So, why did you go along with him anyway? That's good, Hive. You're directing people. You're giving people jobs. Hades promised to help. I tried to exploit the power of darkness. Well, there goes my master plan. Back to the drawing board. Wallace, thank you for the bits. Thank you, thank you. Oh, Cloud. You'll find it. <laughs> I'm searching too. <laughs> the contrast between Cloud and Sora. Oh my god. <laughs> He's like, uh huh. Don't lose sight of it. <laughs> How about a rematch sometime? Fair and square, no dark powers involved. I think I'll pass. <laughs> B, my first aid, CPR is running out soon. Can you help me get recertified? I need to practice and those plastic dummies don't work very well. Hater, thank you for the bits. I haven't done a training class in a long Why time, actually. Why do I feel actually? like Cloud should be listening to my chemical romance right now? <laughs> Insanity. Thank you for the bits. It's so funny. <laughs> That's true. I haven't taught uh, a CPR, ACLS. I haven't taught any of that in a while. I just thought that was hilarious how like Sora thinks that he can, he understands the struggle of what Cloud's going through. My god. Advanced cardiac life support hive. Most people don't need ACLS. Cloud is whatever broody cool middle schooler thought they looked like eating alone in the cafeteria thinking they looked awesome and mysterious. No, just a loser. <laughs> Savage. 
Come back later. I just fought Cloud and Cerberus. I don't care about the freaking barrels. Alright. Did I use this Trinity yet? Maybe? Let's see. Mithril. Can you do a tourniquet, needle D, and ANPA on me? And put the tourniquet on my neck, please, and thank you. <laughs> I like how we specifically have to tell military personnel, don't, never put a tourniquet around the neck. <laughs> never. And it's funny because like, whenever they told me that, I was like, there's no way that they actually do that. They're like, no, specifically for military people, <laughs> make sure they know to never put a tourniquet on somebody's neck because they will do it. My lord. Not reading your side. Oh, it already did. I got him switched around. That's so funny. Insanity. He's thank you gone. for the bits. Thank he's you. Gone. Thank you. He's always there for you, and he's handsome to boot. <laughs> Tourniquet the neck. It stops the blood flow. I don't see a problem here. <laughs> Insanity. Thank you for the bits. Thank you. Thank you. <sighs> Wait a minute. What are you worried about? All the pieces are in place. Relax. Oh, <laughs> Relax. Here's what you do. Let Hercules train the kid. In the next games, I'll take care of them both. Mm -hmm. Who invited you to the party? Stay out of this. This is my show. As you wish. Fight to your heart's content. Should I try going back real quick? Just to see? <laughs> this is so angry. There's the tournament being held at the Coliseum. Here, there's a great reward for the winner. Let's go back. Let's do it. Let's see how far we can go. Pack. Seriously, especially Marines. They take things quite literally into the industry. Yes. Tourniquet to the neck is how I plan to get B to sleep tonight. <laughs> My gosh! PR! Bianca, you have been revelation for us, and I'm glad we can distract you from everything that is going on and make you smile and giggle. You are always the highlight of the week with that adorableness you give out. DX, it's so sweet. Thank you so, so, so much. That is so, so, so sweet. Thank you, thank you. Okay. Let's just... I want to do the Hercules Cup. Let's do it. See how far I can get. We'll see how far I can get, and then that'll be the end of the stream. The cable's getting stuck on stuff. Come on. Wonder how many rounds are in this. Come on. I haven't made sea salt ice cream in a while. Playing Kingdom Hearts always makes me want to make some. Look, they say tell us that because we are very dumb. Like dumber that rocks. 90% of the time it's just see those dudes over there. Yeah, make them not there anymore. Anything more than that it gets messed up. My gosh, insanity. <laughs> Thank you for the bits. Bruce, sweet dreams. Thank you so much for being here. I really, really appreciate you. Thank you, thank you. Do you use an ice cream maker or hamster? Uh, I actually got an ice cream maker for my birthday like five years ago or so, which makes life much, much, much easier. I love it. It's very freaking convenient. Like all you have to do is like you have to freeze the drum like a day before you want to make something. So it's like super, super cold. But it makes life so much easier. Like once you cook the base and stuff like that, like you make like a custard with the base. Um, and then you can just set it and it's good to go. Wait, it's the seventh seed. So I guess it's gonna go down. 
Sea salt ice cream. Yes, I made sea salt ice cream from Kingdom Hearts. I made like the ice cream pops, and then I also made but can just I make like a chocolate gelato brown chunk of it. ice cream with it. I need my chocolate overload. I mean, you can, but there's never like any chocolate in my house. I'm not a fan of chocolate. Personally, the sea salt ice cream was very, very good. It turned out so cute. It's funny too, because like when I made it, a friend of mine was on a keto diet. <laughs> and I was like, can I tempt you with some sea salt ice cream? And I succeeded. I ruined his diet. But it was worth it. <laughs> I did. I sabotaged his diet. Poor thing. Let's see. Okay, yeah. So we're going down. Good deal. Uh, I like white chocolate things and things that don't have a lot of cocoa. Like it's the cocoa for some reason. It kind of makes it hard to breathe. Is, is how it kind of makes you feel. From love and work to eating ice cream. Pack. I have What's seen the beaches of Georgia? Normandy, France, sunrises and sunsets in Greece, jumped out of a perfectly good plane, dove in the fridge seas in Norway, but nothing is as amazing as seeing you genuinely smile and hearing you- That's so sweet! That's so cute, Wallace! Coco, I said your name? <laughs> I don't got care plenty for of Coco. Chocolate I can put in you just say when. I mean, I like- Hot chocolate, though. I will drink hot chocolate. Like, it's because it's more of the... I don't know... The part of it, you know? Like, whenever you're in the cold and stuff, to drink cocoa. But if there's options between, like, a lemon cake or, like, a chocolate cake, I'll go for the lemon cake. And I thought or, like, I was strawberry. a bad influence. But be out here teasing all of us and getting her friends to cheat on their diet. Lotus! Be you evil, beautiful woman, you. Oh, he's stronger now. Insanity, thank you for the bits. Thank you, thank you. No, that's not true. Let's <laughs> go, go. My gosh. No, I missed. Stop it. Jesus. I can, Billy, but sadly they're not worth it. <laughs> they're not worth it. They don't really do much damage. Oh, she's gonna do it again. I knew it. Chill out, Cloud! Oh, dang, I didn't expect that. Cheesecake and cream brulee are the best desserts. He blocked it. Again, I have plenty of hot white chocolate. I just blew it in you, sorry, Kappa. Oh God! Wallace and Lotus, thank you for the bits. Thank you, thank you. Sako Z, how are you doing? Come on. Oh, you scared me. Yes! <laughs> he flying! What the heck? He do be flying. <gasps> I didn't know that's where you got this! I think that's the strongest one besides maybe the Ultima? I don't know. It's got some pretty high damage though. I do believe. Okay, I need to get my mana back. I feel like the Keyblade too. It would suck beating Cloud and just to die to these basic Heartless. Come on. Heal. 
Yes, that is what it's called, Insanity. It's got a little chocobo charm. It's like an iron keyblade with a little chocobo uh, charm on it. Man, I haven't like regained anything this match, really. Magic City, thank you so much for being a sub for six months. Thank you, thank you, thank you. I really, really appreciate you. Thank you so much. Wait, so is this fourth seed or is this fifth seed? I can do this, I believe in myself. I believe. Do I like Sora or Riku more? Riku. A thousand person. I am a Riku stan. Our favorite edgelord. I need my mana. You're having shrimp? That sounds awesome. I do love seafood. Oh yeah, I forgot I got glide. Very nice, very nice. Flex on that glide now. <laughs> now I'm not gonna get those comments for us. Just use glide. Oh. <laughs> Are we gonna Dave, fight what would you Hercules? say to a 3 a.m. drive in the country because you can't sleep? With classic rock playing in the background. That would be awesome. I don't know about the classic rock. Not that I'm against classic rock. However, I don't know. I like some eerie oldie music. Like the platters. I love my prayer from the platters so much. It is like so hauntingly eerie. It's obviously not meant to be, but to me it is. Okay, let's do it. B music is always negotiable. Insanity, thank you for the bit. Ratsy, random French music. I wouldn't say it's random. <laughs> I listen to French music quite often because I've taken a God, I don't even know how many years I've practiced my French. It's less random than if you don't speak the language, you know? Okay, should I... How do I get his invulnerability off? What if I throw this at him? Ah, it works! Do you have a movie that gets you emotional every time you watch it? Best of the best always gets a tear out of me. I've never heard of that movie. What is that about? Hey, give up yet? Come on. It takes me so long to. God. This is a pain. Come on. <laughs> Oh, he's dazed. Hopefully that's just like for that piece. And hopefully he won't go back to being invulnerable. No! Valorous evening, thy highness. Prithee, how art thee a thus present hour? Death bid me of thy day, what hast thee accomplished thee the present day? I desire if thy dad was most quaint. Come on! Rez! Thank you so much for the donation! Thank you, thank you, thank you! My day has been quite good. It's been just chaotic this last week. Well, I guess it's been chaotic like since the beginning of 2022, but it's all good. I'm making it through. Come on! I believe in myself. How have you been, Rez? What's been new in your life? Oh. Huh. 
Man, this is a pain in the butt. This is like highly annoying. Do you like the chaotic? What do you mean? I just mean like dealing with the funeral, um, family issues and stuff like that. It's like I just Netflix. can't get a break. Taekwondo tournament that the guy's brother dies and he can win it by killing the guy that killed his brother. The sportsmanship in the movie is amazing. I'll have to look into that. Oh my god. That was ridiculous! Come on! Come on! Oh my god! This is ridiculous! Hey, give up yet? Here we go again. Ace! I'm gonna pick this up because I know he's about to. Uh. Give me my barrels back. Oh my god. He's so close to dying! Finally! Oh yeah! Lord have mercy. Ace, welcome to the stream! We're so happy to have you here! We're the champs! We did it! We beat the Hercules Cup! Beautiful. Goofy got Herc's shield. Very nice. Wow, I didn't even hold back. Never thought you'd do it. Not bad. Phil, you're just as stubborn as ever. Don't pretend you're not happy for them. Okay, you still got a long way to go. The next round is starting soon. Next time it'll be the real thing. Very nice. We got the yellow trinity! Finally! Beautiful. The X was the spring roll good. It was okay. It was okay. Uh, <laughs> I just... That's quite the interesting. Being you misunderstood dinner. what I said. I said your life is chaotic and had been for 84 years. I see. That is true. I'm in a constant state of chaos. The keyhole? I had no idea that that was to the keyhole. It's crazy. Huh. Lion, how are you doing? Wolf, time for Sephiroth? I do want to fight Sephiroth. That guy is hard. Very, very difficult to fight Sephiroth. Will not open. Let's see. Goofy. Dang, that's nice. I know a keyhole I've been in and out of. Lotus, which one would that be? <laughs> Thank you for the bits, Lotus. Yeah, strong, but it doesn't have as much magic. But also, too, I don't really ever use magic anyway, so. Who really cares, you know? Let's see. All the craziness just levitates to you? That is true. Crafting, what's up? How are you doing? B, you know can I make you panna cotta sometime? I love panna cotta. I love panna cotta. That reminds me a lot of childhood. I like it makes me think of my grandmother making it for me, like when I was a kid. I love it. It's a very good dessert. I just spilled tea all over myself again. I have tea everywhere now. How do I do that? So I can just forget how to drink or something somehow? Okay, let's warp drive here. Kingdom Hearts 20th anniversary? I didn't know that. I feel like the last time, well, huh. Life without chaos is boring. We need war to know peace, hate to know love, and B to know that great women exist. <laughs> That's true, Wallace. Without the sour, there wouldn't be sweet. Oh dang, your shirt is all wet now. 
better just take it off. <laughs> and to steal a mischief. Hater, thank you for the bit. Thank you, thank you. This has to be Hollow Bastion. It has to be, right? I'll clean that up for you, B. Just take the shirt off. <laughs> PR. B, even if it's only tea, it's rude to spill it. I try. I don't know what. I don't know how. Like last time, it was the tea bag that came like unstuck from my cup. It's because your body runs on no sleep and food, B. But even still, you are still our favorite nurse and streamer. Oh my god. Insanity. Thank you so much for the bits. Thank you. Thank you. Yuki, welcome to the stream. We're so happy to have you here. How are you doing, Yuki? My little laser. I know, it's trying real hard though. It's running on no upgrades. It's like it doesn't even, I can't control it enough anyways. I'm sorry, B. I just can't help it. You're so hot and I love you. I want you to be aware of this. Jesus Christ. That's why I exploded in you at the hospital. Sorry, not sorry, by the way. <laughs> Lotus! Thank you for the... <laughs> Lotus. Oh my god. I need the life. It's so scary! What's up, MV? How are you doing? Where have you been, MV? We've missed you. You don't love us anymore, MV? Ooh. Oh my god. Hey, Trotum, what's up? How are you doing? This is such epic music. Like, we have to be going to Hall of Bastion, right? Have to be. I can't think of anywhere else. Ooh. Nikki, what's up? How are you doing, Nikki? Ooh. We just just barely made it. Thank you so much for the donation to Hello Bastion. I like how warped it looks. DX haven't seen your oil milk tea in ages. That's true, because I usually drink those around lunchtime. But I'll probably start drinking some more at some point. When I can find them again. I've been rationing myself on, though. <sighs> Garsh, look at that. <laughs> Garsh, what a word. I know this place. How does he know this place? What's up, Frankie? How are you doing? How are you? That's strange. I wonder why. I am common because you are the light. Curl, thank you so much for the bits. Thank you, thank you. Insanity, thank you for the bits. Thank you, okay, thank you. Okay, Goofy, chill out with the gorsh. <laughs> Sora, I feel this warmth inside. <laughs> right here. <laughs> You're just hungry. <laughs> I'm serious. Try to have a moment, Donald. <laughs> You're just hungry. Let's go. Okay, let's save. It's gonna have to be the end of the stream for today. Archive 81 is pretty good so far. Hmm. I'll have to look into that. Okay. <laughs> it's always Donald, right, Sin? Always Donald. Okay, well, thank you guys so, 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 so much for being here. Um, like I was saying earlier, it is going to be shorter streams for the rest of this week, most likely. Another PR. epic stream B. Thanks for all the laughs. Good night all. See you tomorrow, Antisira love Antisira smoochies. PR, thank you so 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 much for the bits. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Eric, thank you for the bits. B thank you for making my day. I wouldn't have it any other way. What a way to spend a birthday. Eric, best birthday wishes to you. I hope you enjoy the rest of your day. That is awesome. I'm so happy that you spent your birthday here with. <laughs> With the community, that is freaking epic. 
Um, but I love you guys so, so, so much. So for those of you guys who weren't here at the very beginning of the stream, all the streams for this week, uh, possibly even next week, are gonna be Thanks pretty Thanks for letting Blow My Load be. I'll be back next stream. <laughs> Good night, and it was all jokes, by the way, and thanks for the fun at Hospital Closet. Same time next time, B. Lotus, thank you so much <laughs> for the fits. Thank you, thank you. B, have a great night. We love seeing you and talking with you. No matter how long or short it is. We all love you, and we hope you get some good sleep tonight. And if not, I'm on nights, so hit your boy up. Insanity. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. End of stream emotional damage. <laughs> emotional damage. Flawless, thank you so much. Um, but for <laughs> as I keep trying to <laughs> say, um, I basically have figured out like all the funeral arrangements and stuff like that. However, I still have like a lot of family and stuff that's gonna be coming in for this next month and like the start of February and stuff like that. So if the streams are short, it's because I just have a lot of stuff going on family-wise behind the scenes, not to mention my schoolwork and stuff like that. Like I just had like a huge exam that I took on Monday. So I love you guys so much. I'm sorry that they're short streams, but I don't have much of the mental capacity to do much more, but I thoroughly enjoy these and I appreciate you guys so much for just like distracting me in a good and healthy way by playing Final Fantasy and getting to talk to you guys. But I love you guys so much and I will see you guys tomorrow.